Hello, and welcome to my new Shenmue series called Shenmue Did You Know? In this first instalment, I wanted to show off the magical cherry tree at the Hazuki residence. You will obviously be familiar with this tree from the flashback scene with Ryo as a child, and since Shenmue 1 and 2 are now available in HD for modern systems, I have enhanced the graphics somewhat with a tool called Reshade. <laughs> Now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. The tree pictured in the scene was always pretty breathtaking for the fact that it is the only time that the tree is seen in this full blossoming yes. state, with petals Good. falling all around. But is it really the only time? I wanted to investigate. Promotional footage for Shamu before its release, a big exciting feature known as magic weather was shown off. Weather is a huge factor in the atmosphere of Shamu's world, giving it a realistic and lifelike quality with its continuing changes and seasons. In Shamu, everything continually changes, just as in real life. At the start of the game, we are already in winter, but with the visit of Landy to the Hazuki residence, in dramatic fashion, the snow turns quickly to rain and a storm beckons, leaving the tree with completely bare branches. The first day in which we take control of Rio, the garden area of the residence is mostly green and bushy, the tree completely bare. You may be aware that in the springtime, cherry trees like this blossom, known as Sakura season in Japan, with roughly the best viewing time for blossoms being around the 31st of March to the 7th of April in Tokyo. I decided to use the day skip when Ryo was trying to find warehouse number 8 to skip to March the 26th, just in case the blossoms were early and I was not expecting to see the magic that unfolded. To my surprise, as well as smaller flowers around the garden, the cherry tree had begun to bloom. I was amazed at the extreme attention to detail in that each day more and more buds had blossomed. Most games doing something similar would probably just have a before and after. Shemu was special in that details like the progression of these changes in a tree are visually included. The end of March to the beginning of April, I'm sure 99.9% .9 of players would never see, since most players easily finish the story of Shenmue even before as early as January. To have details such as these waiting for players to even notice at a point in time that is near impossible to reach just naturally is pretty insane and a testament to Yu Suzuki's sheer attention to detail. With the date of the bad ending approaching, Ryo was visited by Shenfar in his dreams, 
who brings a warning. A warning which will literally make sense in the upcoming days. When the cherry blossoms fall, the dragon shall descend on you. Hurry. A dream? The cherry blossoms fall. April the 8th. After the gradual increase of blossom on the cherry tree, it is today where we see a real jump, and the tree is now in full bloom. Just a couple of petals are beginning to fall, and there are now even more flowers around the garden areas of the Hazuki residence. These details blew me away. It is really mind-blowing stuff from a game that is now nearly 20 years old. I wondered what would happen to the tree next. April the 9th. The greatest in-game day for the cherry tree, and a day I wish you all to attempt to visit if you can. The tree looks absolutely incredible, with masses of petals falling all around, it's truly a sight to behold. I stayed here for the full day, soaking in the atmosphere. My day began with a huge downpour, but the rain however stopped around midday and I could properly take in the complete majestic nature of the tree. As the sun started to set later in the day, the atmosphere that this game is able to achieve gave me chills. As day turned slowly into night time, I soaked it all up. Upon briefly switching back to the Dreamcast style graphics, the game gave me a great sense of those original promotional trailers of the Magic Weather System that we saw earlier in this video and I began to realise again just how much of an epic Yu Suzuki was able to achieve back in 1999. If you expected him to just stop there, you would be wrong. As the cherry blossoms fall, the following days see the tree gradually start to lose its former beauty.
April the 15th. The inevitable bad ending occurs. The tree is now completely void of bloom, and its new green leaves are now present, as the next growth cycle of a cherry tree starts to begin. I'll never tell you where real sun is! Ah! Focus on! Landy! Real sun! Don't do it! I heard there's another mirror. What? Give it to me, now. Not a chance! If that's the way you want it, I'll just take it from you. I will avenge my father's death! Shenmue is nothing short of incredible. It's full of little details such as these. I hope you enjoyed this look into the ever-changing cherry tree and its surroundings. Like always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!